Hey everyone, Ryan here at eTrailer. Today we're going to be checking out the NOCO Genius 3-Bank Onboard Battery Charger. Uh, when it comes to battery maintenance, you, know, you can either do things the easy way or the hard way. And a setup like this definitely makes it extremely simple and really convenient to charge up your batteries, especially in a scenario uh, like mine here. I have a 36 volt trolling motor, and so I got three 12 volt batteries. Um, and they're kind of jammed in here real tight. So instead of having to take a charger and individually do all of them, all I have to do is plug in the charger power cable to the wall outlet or your extension cord, and that's it. All three of them are gonna charge in a smart fashion at that to uh, optimize your battery life and performance. This charger can be used in a variety of different applications. Uh, stuff like this is really popular on boats like we have ours today, but you know you can use them on campers or uh, other things like that. Essentially wherever you have a battery installed and you need to charge it, uh, this is going to be there for you. And um, you know there's several different variations of this too. You know NOCO makes a lot of really good chargers. They got three bank, four bank, two bank, single bank, so just about any scenario you find yourself in, there's going to be uh, an application for you. And um, it can pretty much charge whatever battery you got too. So in my setup, I just got your standard lead acid batteries. It'll charge those. Uh, it'll charge the AGM batteries and even lithium batteries, um, which is really nice because you get one charger and if you ever want to upgrade in the future to those lithium batteries, you're able to do so and not have to worry about picking up a completely different charger to be compatible with them. As far as how fast this is gonna be able to charge your batteries, you know, it's, it's really dependent on the size of your battery, the type, you know, how depleted they are, so on and so forth. Um, I've had this about six months now and I think it's awesome. It does a really good job um, you know, I'll be out in really fast moving water and I have the, the trolling motor uh, turned up pretty good for quite a bit of time, you know, six to ten hours um, and really giving it a workout. And by the time I get home, you know, get everything unpacked, get this thing on the charger, it's late at night, come out and by the next morning, they're fully charged. So it does not take long to charge these up. Um, and I was somewhat concerned with that. Um, because this is a five amp charger, so you're gonna get five amps per bank, okay? And I've got group 29 batteries, so about middle of the road in terms of the size. And I was concerned if it would be sufficient enough amperage to charge these up, let's say if I wanted to go out the next morning, would they be ready to go? And uh, with how it's been doing, no reason why you shouldn't be in pretty good shape. As far as uh, changing the modes and everything and, and kind of what's going on on the screen here. So you got your indicator. This tells you your battery life, you know, so when it's solid green, essentially it's just floating. You know, it's, it's using a, a smart charge technology, if you will, um, to where it's not going to overcharge the batteries or, or uh, anything like that. And even if it's completely charged, It'll still take a second and kind of do its thing to, um, you know, run through everything and make sure that it's all good. But right now, like I said, I've got the regular lead acid, so that's a setting I have it on. If you have the AGMs, you can kind of just cycle through. So you got your AGM, your lithium. Uh, there's, uh, you know, standby, and there's there's several modes that you can use. There's even a repair uh, light that can illuminate. If it sees that there's an issue with the battery, whether it be a dead cell or, um, you know, anything along those lines, it'll recognize that too. So you kind of get some diagnostics out of this um, and make sure your batteries are, are uh, running as they should. Each one of the wires go into the independent banks on the battery. You get plenty of length. I mean, there's more than enough for pretty much any scenario. Um, and each bank is going to be fused, right? So your, your power has a fuse. And essentially, you almost get a redundant one as well because uh, the ground or negative side 
has an inline fuse in it uh, as well. So all of your all of your circuits are more than protected. Um, I do like the terminals that are everything's already kind of built in, you know. But there's a good thick solid piece uh, there at the end, and usually that's where stuff kind of gets loose and kind of starts to bend and give way. And so that reinforcement there really shouldn't have nothing to worry about. And even the terminals, you know, they're going to fit those standard style posts um, like we have here today on, on these batteries. I know one of the big questions uh, I had when I was, you know, changing everything over, like I said, I have a 36 volt system, is how do I hook this up essentially? You know, do I just go one bank to one battery? for all three, or do I have to do anything special? Um, and, you know, I, honestly, I was overthinking it, and the right way to hook this up, if you have batteries that are wired in series, whether you have, you know, two 12-volt batteries wired in series that make 24 volts for a trolling motor or something, and then maybe just a regular starting battery that you're planning on using the other bank for, or you just have a 36-volt system, you just go, from bank to bank, if that makes sense. So, like I said, you'll have one bank of wires coming out of your charger, and it breaks off into power and ground. Put that on one battery. Next bank, got your power and ground. Put that on one battery, so on and so forth. So you don't have to do any kind of special wiring or you know um, jumper and stuff or anything along those lines. Uh, just one bank to your one battery's power and ground, and it'll charge that battery independently. The charger is going to be uh, essentially waterproof, so they say you can fully submerse it. More or less, you know, it's not gonna get hurt if you get a little water on it, get a little moisture in there. I've been out in the rain plenty of times. This thing get wet, you know, cause a little bit of moisture seeps through here. Never had an issue uh, with it at all. And chances are pretty good, you're probably gonna have this, something like this as well, set up in a compartment out of the way or something uh, along those lines. Which kind of brings you to my next point. You know, in my case, it's not that big of a deal to open this up to grab the port here and plug my, uh, my nice extension cord into this and charge the batteries. Because honestly, I want to have the batteries vented, the compartment vented anyway when I'm charging them. So I leave this open. Um, but, you know, everyone's setup's not going to be like that. And if uh, you have a bunch of equipment or something where it's going to be a pain to kind of do that or it's not the easiest to get to, I definitely understand. So there is uh, a solution for you, for you. NOCO actually makes these, I guess you'd call them adapter plugs almost. But what you would do is pick up that plug. You would plug it into here. All right, and essentially it gives you... Uh, another way to plug in. So you take that and let's say if this was like a, a side compartment or something here where it's easy to get to, right? Just on a wall or something. That wire would come in from the back and there'd be a essentially a rubber port, if you will. You'd open that lid up and then you could just plug your extension cord right into it. So you never have to bother with getting into a compartment or anything like that. So, um, you know, it can make it a little more convenient if yours is kind of tucked away and, and a pain to get to. Other than that, at the end of the day, you know, that, that's really about it. If you were to ask me, would I buy this again? Absolutely. I'm a big fan of it. You know, it's out of the way. It makes charging the battery super easy, especially when you got a big old bank of them like this. And uh, because of its technology, how it charges it in a smart way, um, it really prolongs the life of the batteries, you know, as long as you try to get in that good habit of after you deplete the batteries, try to get them on the charger as soon as possible. And that will really prolong the life of them. And I hate buying batteries. I've got so many batteries I got to maintain. Um, this just makes it so much easier and hopefully get a lot more life uh, out of the original batteries. So I don't have to go buy more, but you know, with that said, uh, I think that'll about do it for our look at of the NOCO Genius onboard three bank battery charger.